Hey friends, I'm Haley and welcome to my channel. Now, have you ever struggled with carrying around multiple power adapters or even just figuring out how to stick these on your desk? You know, many of these just plug straight into outlets then you get, don't have long enough USB cables to charge your devices. Well, I'll tell you what, today we're talking about the Anchor Prime 200 watt charger and this thing might solve all your problems. Anchor has recently released a whole new lineup of Prime chargers with varying power capabilities, form factors, etc. This is the second most powerful one at 200 watts and it includes four USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. Now it can deliver that 200 watts across all six of those ports simultaneously, though of course each individual port will be getting less power as it does so. Uh, the most powerful charger you might be interested about is their 250 watt version. Also a desktop form factor, but it includes a fancy little screen that tells you um, how much power is being delivered by each port. It can also act as a desk clock and has Bluetooth app connectivity as well. Uh, now this one doesn't have any of those fancy features. It is just a charger at its core. It just includes those six ports and no additional frills. And that's kind of what I want on my desk. It's the new Anchor Prime multi-port desktop charging station. This is the 200 watt version that retails for about $70 and I bought two of these on Black Friday for $56. So let's open it up and take a look. Okay, here we go. Open the box, very simple. We'll take a look over here first. This is, I believe, just the power cable. There we go, we just have a nice little, simple, straightforward power cable. Two prong, uh, removable. Nice, flexible cable. I do like the feeling of this cable a lot. Uh, I noticed that. Uh, with the other one that I purchased as well. It's just real easy to adjust to be on your desk however you like it, however you do your cable management. Um, it's nice and flexible. Okay, here is the real thing, the anchor charger. What else do we have underneath here? Uh, just a little quick start guide. What do we have in here? Very simple, connect up all your devices and then all of the typical warnings. Okay, let's take a look at the charger itself. All right, here we go, look at that. Nice uh, gloss finish there on the front. The rest of it has a metallic style finish. According to Anchor's website, it is still just plastic uh, with that metallic finish. First impressions, just taking this out of the wrapper, it has some really good weight to it. Um, I, I personally value products that have a little bit of heft. Sometimes it's fake. It's hard to say with this one, it very possibly could be metal in there for a heat sink, um, 200 watts of charging capabilities definitely gonna generate some heat. Whatever it is, it feels good like a quality product. Uh, this is a desktop charger. It's not really meant as a travel charger. It's gonna be sitting there on the edge of your desk and uh, you know, you're gonna plug in cables in and out. Now, from experience, I can tell you it's not quite heavy enough that you can just plug cables in and out without touching the charger. It will shift as you're plugging those cables. With a, a light finger tap and plugging things in and out, it works great. And what I do really appreciate is that it's heavy enough that the cables won't shift it around on your desk while they're plugged in if you're like using a device or something. Let's compare this to some of past history. This is a 61 watt, yeah, 61 watt brick right here. Just take a look at that in comparison for size. It is about two thirds of this 200 watt brick and the Apple one only has a single power outlet. This is probably about four years old now. It had two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports. Um, also from Anchor, similar size, similar size, uh, a bit lighter, um, a little bit wider actually than the Anchor. Um, but this guy is only 100 watts. Okay, let's uh, plug this guy in. Now, one thing that kind of surprised me when I first turned this on uh, with the other unit that I bought 
is there are actually no LEDs on it. Um, now, you know, I shouldn't be too surprised. You know, most other power adapters don't have LEDs on them, but for a desktop one, it's kind of uncommon. And I really like it. <laughs> I've got enough things on my desk that are glowing at me already. And that's part of the reason that I chose the model without the built-in displays or anything. Okay, let's see, what, what can we plug into this? Well, first and foremost, I've got my Mac here. Now I've got iStat menus running, which will show me the power consumption and the charging state of the Mac. So let's talk about the charging capability of this charger at first. Now, 200 watts total across all the ports. Um, at any one time, you can have up to 100 watts delivered from any of the USB-C ports. You can have two USB-C ports delivering 100 watts each for 200 watts total. Um, or you can plug in more devices and then the power that's delivered will be intelligently decreased on each port so that it doesn't go over 200 watts. Anchor's website seems to illustrate that you should always plug the most powerful device in on the left hand side and then kind of work your way down to less powerful devices. There's a little computer icon on this leftmost USB-C port which probably indicates that it is the port capable of delivering the most power. There are two USB-A ports. If you're only using one of them, it can deliver up to 22 and a half watts. If you're using both of them at the same time, you'll get 12 watts out of each. We're gonna use that computer port to start off with. And let's see. Okay, charging 100 watts of power coming in. Now let's just do a quick little test with nothing else plugged in. If I take this guy and plug him into the rightmost port. Looks like we still get 100 watts of power. Now uh, I've got my iPad here. Plug him into the second port. Got another iPad here. We'll plug into this port. Mix things up a little bit. <laughs> it's booting up for the first time because it had a very dead battery. And we've got yet another Mac. So let's plug this guy in as well. All right, and we're charging. And now my Mac here has gone down to 65 watts as expected being plugged into that first port. Um, and that's because I'm drawing so much power from all these different devices. Let's just try a little experiment and move this Mac into one of these other ports. Let's go into this leftmost port here. We'll move this iPad over to there. And we'll plug the Mac in here. And 25 watts of power. Okay, so there you go. That actually does prove that you're going to want the most highest power device in the leftmost port. Still got two USB-A ports to use up. So we'll charge my Logitech MX anywhere. And lastly, definitely not least, <laughs> Uh, we've got my AirPods, so they're charging. So there we go, everything's plugged in. Still getting 65 watts at the Mac laptop. Let's do another swap just to see what this port down here will end up being with these extra devices plugged in. And we've got 20 watts now going to the Mac laptop down at that port at the end. And that aligns with um, Anchor's own website, which shows um, with everything plugged in, you've got 12 watts, 12 watts, 65 watts, 45 watts, 45 watts, and 20 watts. Uh, here we can plug the Mac laptop into one of these middle ones and prove that we can get 45 watts there as well. There it is, 45 watts. Cool. Um, so as you can see, uh, delivers great power. Um, and as I was mentioning, you know, it's not gonna shift around from you just wiggling cables, um, doing other things. It's got enough weight there that it stays quite stable. But if I wanna unplug something, you do have to rest your hand on it uh, to get those things plugged and unplugged. 
Okay, so there you have it. That is the Anchor Prime 200 watt multi-port desktop charging station. I'm really happy with this device. Like I said, this is the second one that I bought. I already had one. Um, it just works great. It's a perfect desktop charger. Thanks so much for watching and taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with me. This is a new channel, so any support helps. Hit that like, subscribe button, and I'll be sure to keep bringing more quality content to you. Until next time, I'm Haley, and thanks for watching. Ba-dum-bum-bum-psh!